Hi. Um, I'm quite nervous, and I don't usually jump at uh, public speaking, but I just think this woman is so wonderful that I'm honored to present her with this award. Um, to say our next winner is one of the funniest women in the world sort of misses the point. She is quite simply one of the funniest people. From her seemingly honest stand-up, which saw her sell out Madison Square Garden earlier this year and the O2 a few days ago, to her award-winning TV show, which has already spawned a string of sketches that are instant classics. Then there's her films, like the smash hit Trainwreck, which I have seen about 17 times. And now finally, there's her book, the brilliant memoir, The Girl with the Lower Back Tattoo, which, like her, is frank, forthright, and hilarious. GQ's Woman of the Year is to Amy Schumer. Oh my God, you guys. GQ Men of the Year. Finally, we are celebrating men. Um, no longer. So, gosh, thank you for calling me a woman. Um, this is embarrassing. I wrote a whole speech. I thought I was the model of the year, so this speech doesn't even make sense. <laughs> this is so exciting. This is my second time in London. I, the first time was last year, and I got drunk at an award show. And uh, I asked if anybody was going to see the footage. They said, it's for our archives. And then I woke up in the morning, and there was a viral video of me at the Glamour Awards telling everyone that I weigh 160 pounds and can catch a dick whenever I want. So. I decided to keep it a little lower key tonight. Just say, like, thank you. Um, and you know, next year, I don't, it's not gonna go as well for me. And I won't be at places like this. And, and I'll feel forgotten. And, uh, and I'll show up outside the door and I'll be like, what about me, Dylan? I don't know, that's when you find out who your real friends are. Are they editors of magazines in other countries? I don't know. <laughs> are they? Right, they are, right? It's just so different here. You guys, um, you guys say like it's not a big deal, you know? <laughs> guys can be you know? So I'm gonna try to bring that to the States. Uh, just, everyone's gonna be a from now on, um, I, uh, I really want to thank um, my uh, manager and my publicist, Carrie Bialik, who has gotten me through the last two years in rooms like this to bring out all my insecurities and uh, a lot of rage. Um, I want to thank Bear Grylls. who I hung out with last night. We did the Jonathan Ross show, Tune In, um, where I found out that Bear will eat literally anything. <laughs> um, and before I leave, I just want to say that um, I, I'm really honored to be included in this, and um, I, uh, I hope you guys will go to my website and look at my merchandise. I have t-shirts <laughs> and a sweatshirt, um, but the zipper breaks. But I want you guys to know that um, a lot of the things you hear up here tonight will just be lies. And people will try and say the right things so that you like them, or they can get more work but I want you to go home knowing that this is the truth. Patrick Stewart has come all over my tits. More times than even he remembers. Michael Caine, don't look away. Look at me, sir. Sir. Please make eye contact with me. That would be really great, you guys. If you could just kind of keep it up here. This is. I'm never gonna be invited back here, so let's like just kind of embrace this moment. Um, when you come all over, first of all, you go, oh, you ask the question, right? Where should I come, right? You ask us that, and what, we go, oh, thank you for thinking of me, or you know, whatever. And then, and then it's like, 
what are the options? If you're laying on your back, it's like your face, no, no. I have a good relationship with my dad. Um, your stomach, yawn, right? You say my tits. And then Patrick comes all over your tits. And you walk out of the room. Guys don't know we do this, but you have to make like kind of a shelf so it doesn't fall. Kind of a, you make a shelf. It's the saddest shelf in the world. I just went to the Anne Frank house and I can safely still say, it's the saddest shelf in the world. And as an avid Trump supporter, um, uh, I just, I really want to thank you guys. It's been such a pleasure and uh, I'm, I am honored. And thank you Florence and Stanley and Carrie, love you. And Ben, I love you. Thanks Dylan, bye guys.